While we often talk about the deluge of big name releases in the fall season, the three month period leading up to E3 is no joke either. Despite a number of big delays, March is looking incredibly packed. Let's take a look at 15 of the biggest games here. Grand Blue Fantasy Versus Psy Games Grand Blue Fantasy Versus has already made waves in Japan and Asia with digital sales and shipments crossing 150,000 units. It's out on March 3rd for PS4 in North America, offering a stellar aesthetic and solid fighting mechanics with characters from the mobile RPG. All in all, even with the concerns over its netcode, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus should be a good diversion, especially with the side-scrolling RPG mode. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX Even if roguelike dungeon crawlers aren't your jam, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX warrants one's attention. Releasing on March 3rd, it's a remake of Red and Blue Rescue Team and sees players leading teams of Pokemon into dungeons to complete different jobs. There are 386 Pokemon to recruit, with several new additions from Gen 4 and Mega Evolutions. With features like autosave, auto mode, and gorgeous new visuals, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX is looking good. Neo 2 A prequel to the first game story, Neo 2 packs tons of improvements and iterations on top of the Massacre difficulty. Along with the ability to use yokai abilities and forms, players will have new and returning weapon types, new blessed and corrupted weapons, and support for three-player co-op. There's also heaps of new enemies and bosses just waiting to tear players apart when the game releases on March 13th for PS4. Doom Eternal the demons of hell have invaded Earth, but you're the Doom Slayer, so it's a fair fight. Id Software's highly anticipated sequel to the 2016 reboot has been significantly expanded while maintaining the signature fast-paced, visceral gameplay. Players will explore the Fortress of Doom, unlock new mods and equipment like a shoulder-mounted flamethrower, and even stomp through remixed master levels. Doom Eternal releases on March 20th for PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Google Stadia. Half-Life Alex. We could go on about this being the first major Half-Life title in over a decade, or how it's caused Valve Index units to sell out worldwide, but Half-Life Alex is looking pretty good in its own right. As Alex Vance, players will scour City 17 and battle the Combine with the Resistance, utilizing gravity gloves to manipulate objects and solve puzzles. And who knows, maybe the G-Man is lurking somewhere as well. Half-Life Alex is out on March 23rd for VR headsets on PC. Persona 5 Royal Bigger, better, flashier. Persona 5 Royal has everything that fans of the original could want and possibly more. Along with adding new story content and a brand new palace, this enhanced edition features new persona, interactions, enemies, and much more. It also introduces a new player character, Kasumi Yoshisawa, with her own story arc. If you've never tried the series before, Persona 5 Royal is a great place to start when it launches on March 31st for PS4. Bleeding Edge Ninja Theory's Bleeding Edge is a different take for the studio. It's a 4v4 multiplayer arena fighter with 12 different characters across three classes. Each possesses their own abilities and can be customized with different modifications, with the developer promising no microtransactions at launch. When not competing over objectives, you can utilize the environments to push foes into trains or electric fences. Releasing on March 24th, Bleeding Edge will be available for Xbox One and Windows 10. The Division 2 Warlords of New York The first paid expansion for The Division 2 sees the story returning to Manhattan for the hunt on Aaron Keener. It's summer now and the city has undergone some major changes, with the player investigating four major districts ruled by Keener's warlords. Along with new abilities, armor, and weapons, the expansion also sees returning foes like the Cleaners and Rikers. With an infinite progression system, introduction of seasons, and much more, Warlords of New York might be a good reason to hop back into the game when it releases on March 3rd. My Hero Wants Justice 2 my Hero 1's Justice 2 goes all plus ultra, adding new villains and characters from the recent Shi Hasakai arc, along with new team plus ultras and a new stamina system. Players can still engage in superhuman battles, running on walls and destroying the environment as they please, while calling in sidekicks for assistance. The sequel is out on March 13th for Xbox One, PS4, PC, and Nintendo Switch. One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 
Omega Force's latest installment in the One Piece Pirate Warriors franchise sees new villains like Charlotte, Katakuri, Kaido, and Big Mom making their debut for a roster of over 40 playable characters. The action-adventure title still has the crowd brawling and insane attacks that the studio is known for, along with new multiplayer modes. There's also Titan Mode, which sees players battling gigantic enemies. One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 releases on March 27th for PC, Xbox One, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. Doom 64 Fancy a retro trip after finishing Doom Eternal? Doom 64, a port of the Nintendo 64 Classic, is the ticket, with 32 levels to explore and several changes to the core gameplay, including a faster loading super shotgun. You even have new weapons like the Unmaker, which can be upgraded with artifacts to fire up to three lasers. With a stellar music score, challenging gameplay, and some great looking visuals, Doom 64 is worth checking out when it releases on March 20th for PC, Xbox One, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. Animal Crossing New Horizons Ignore the fact that Tom Nook still commands so much power and venture to a deserted island to start a new life. Starting out with a tent and some basic amenities, players can craft new tools, earn unique rewards, and eventually expand their community with full-fledged housing. Invite other villagers to stay, reshape the environment, travel to other islands, and interact with up to seven other players on online multiplayer. Sure, the lack of cloud saves is rough, but Animal Crossing New Horizons still looks too good to skip. It's out on March 20th for Nintendo Switch. Ori and the Will of the Wisps Ori is back, and this time he's going beyond the forest to discover his destiny. Auto-saving and a revamped upgrade system aside, Ori and the Will of the Wisps is still focused on platforming, puzzle solving, and exploring previously blocked areas. The visuals are straight up incredible, which is saying something considering how good the first game looked. Even with all the delays, Ori and the Will of the Wisps should be a monumental adventure. It's coming to Xbox One and PC with a launch on Xbox Game Pass. Control Foundation very little is known about Foundation, Control's first expansion. We know that it takes protagonist Jesse Faden beneath the Bureau to the Foundation with the oldest house's history hopefully unraveled. Otherwise, we're yet to see any gameplay footage or learn anything else. Either way, Foundation is out on March 26th for Xbox One, PS4, and PC, so stay tuned for… something. MLB The Show 20 SIE San Diego Studios' premier baseball title is back with eye-popping visuals and new features. While team and logo editors in Diamond Dynasty are coming to franchise mode, perhaps the biggest new addition is fully licensed minor league baseball rosters with their full names and likenesses. That's in addition to online custom leagues, new challenges and road to the show, and overhauls to the AI. MLB The Show 20 is out on March 17th for PS4. And that wraps it up. If you like what we are doing, please consider subscribing to our channel. And don't forget to switch on the bell notification icon. That way you will never miss out on any of our videos.